crypto design. <coughs> Cryptography is not something new. We all, uh, for years, people are thinking how they can send messages and secrets. This is an example of stickinography that's hiding a message into something else. Um, here they shake the head of the slave, wrote a message on his head, tattooed it, and when the hair was grown back, he couldn't see the message anymore. But just hiding messages is not enough. You also must make them unreadable, even when you see the message. Caesar uh, taught about that. And he came up with what we now call Caesar Crypto. It's actually very easy. You just shift, shift the alphabet a little bit. And I can yeah, explain that with a little bit now. Maybe some of you can find out what this word is. How many letters are shifted? How many letters are shifted? I'm not going to tell, but maybe you have a new name. Nobody? That's of course a very We thought it would be easy. This is an even more complicated form of cryptography. You can use a piece of parchment, wrap it around the rod, and then write a message on it. And when you unwrap it, it's no longer readable. You get a string of letters that you don't know in which order you have to read. Cryptography developed further. This is recent cryptography, this is PGP. This is the public key of Aaron Bartlett. He's an artist and he wrote his own public key. And yeah, it's, you can guess that it's a slightly more complicated one now. It's an art trade that's go going on for a long time. This is the Enigma machine from the Second World War. The Germans used this to send secret messages to the u boats And if we couldn't decipher that, the war could have lost like four years longer. Uh, thankfully, thanks to Aaron Alan Turner, we can now read it. No, we could read those messages. And if you want to know more about the story, you can watch the movie The Imitation Game. Cryptography has also slipped into the art world. This is Tim Sanborn's artwork, and this is a serial projector. He also has another artwork that's been at the CIA headquarters. It has four encrypted messages. It's 25 years old, and one is still not in, unencrypted and not readable by one people. So if anyone wants to try, you can decide, try to decide for that message. You also have visual cryptography. If you, in this case, overlay just two squares on the left, you get the image on the right. But cryptography is also, came also into our daily world. Currently, WhatsApp is also using cryptography. But on the internet, mostly, we still use old-fashioned postcard that you can take out of the mail, read your email, and anybody that's in between you and the receiver can know what is sent. And I think it's time that we move to post to envelopes and that at least the message is harder to read. In the article, they also talk about how we can do it in a different way. This is a recent encryption method, and it's Kardashian encrypt, where you can hide messages in images of Kim uh, Kardashian. <laughs> Unfortunately, designers and our artists have a lot of trouble trying to make cryptography privacy more accessible. This is a project handlers. This is a project that has quit for about a month now. They try to make a good, well-designed app with, with, with which you can send messages to each other and don't have to trust a second party, a third party. And that's why we want more designers and more artists, because examples like these quit and somehow never really make it. And we think it's important with every, every message we send, every email, the entire digital life, that privacy should become more accessible. And that's what we want to ask of you designers and artists. And I hope there are a lot of you in here. I was wondering um, um, what we should know about the difference between keys and the message. Is there something that we should um, explain or is that too nerdy? If you, if you take this example, we have an encryption method that is changing how many 
changing the alphabet, shifting it to Spike a little bit. But the key is how many uh, letters we shift. For example, if we choose to make B a C, the key is 1. We also could make it harder and make it like 5. And then instead of the A becoming a B, it's becoming an F. And it's important that when you exchange an encrypted message, that you both exchange the method with which you encrypt it, but also the key. And that's the hard part, because nobody else except you and the one who want the message to read it. Yeah. No. So we should agree beforehand that we're going to shift it all five letters, but we don't want anyone to know that we're shifting in five, it could be six, it could be, you know, who knows? Maybe. Of course, it's a very simple example. But, so you have to exchange both the key and messages in cryptography, and that's why people are always talking about keys and messages. Um, yeah. And once you've done the key, then you can finally start sending the messages in, the, in your chosen scrambling. We're not going to use five anymore because you know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>